Road trip, yeah! I got shotgun! Nope. Hold up, man, I called it. I called it first. I didn't hear you call it shotgun. You didn't hear it because it wasn't on speakerphone. Dad jokes over 9,000. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I am here with Aaron Hayes. What's up? A Aaron Hayes is local out of Austin. And just to give you a little background, I shot my first three gun match ever uh, almost a year ago. Last April. Yeah. And I did, I did okay, I guess, for a first timer. But I was using my own rifle, but someone else's shotgun and someone else's pistol. So I want to shoot again. But I wanted to get a pistol that I, I mean a shotgun that I am familiar with now. So Aaron builds custom shotguns and pistols and I got him to build me this shotgun. And I'm going to have him tell you about it real quick, tell you the features, tell you why this shotgun is not your normal shotgun. This is a Vanillium 2 built by Hayes Custom Guns. Uh, it has some specific features that are unique to three gun competition to make it faster to shoot, faster to load, easier to shoot fast. Uh, we've got a, the most obvious difference is the 12 round magazine tube here. Yeah, that's pretty big. Uh, it can go up to 14. I've seen guys run 14 round tubes, but those can be a bit awkward. So Cumbersome. 12 is a good, yeah, 12 is a good, a good number. Uh, we've opened up the loading port quite a bit here for faster reloading. So how did you work all that metal off of there? This is done initially on a milling machine, and then we come in and polish it by hand and kind of round all the edges and, yeah, that's you know, coming off the mill, these are kind of pointed and sharp. So we round everything off by hand. And this is just to make it so you can get it is. shells so you can in there. Get quicker. your hand in down here and get your thumb behind shells and, and get them in really quick. So we stipple the stocks for better grip. Mm -hmm. You know, in the hot Texas summer, everything gets sweaty. So we've got an oversized safety here, easier to get on and off. Oversized charging handle. And I see your little logo Our there. Our little logo is this there. Bolt yep. Yours? This is a this is a factory vanilla bolt that we've lightened. Gotcha. Uh, and polished, and then it's got a reduced power recoil spring. Cool. So in three gun we shoot reduced power target loads. So we kind of set up the gun to run those a little better. So can you run high power loads in this? You can. Yeah. 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 Very cool. And you have fiber optic front fiber sight. Fiber optic front sight. Yep. That's an upgraded. Uh, that's a high vis tri comp. So it comes with a triangle fiber. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Or two different sizes of round. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus on this. A full and half size. There we go. Very cool. So it's nice for finding what you like, and then also break when you have extras. Cool. So. Very cool. So, uh, this is the first time I've seen the gun. This will obviously be the first time that I shoot the gun, and I am not a pro uh, competition shotgun shooter. So Aaron's going to give me some some tips. That's right. You'll be a better. pro by the end of the day. Yeah. No problem. Piece of cake. One of the keys. You've had a little bit of quad loading. A little bit. Training, right? Quad loading. Quad loading is what we're going to do. Oh no, I haven't done that. We well, did. We did just doubles. No, no doubles today. No doubles today. <laughs> you know. So let's do a couple of twos just to. Okay. Just to remember. So what you're going to do is just rotate it with this hand and pull it back on this shoulder. Oh, this shoulder. There we go. That's probably how I did it last time. And yeah. then try not to turn it. You're going to burn your hand once the gun gets hot right there. So just hold it like so that. So try to do, I'm a lefty, so it's going to look the opposite. But turn and just, just like that. It'll feel a little, un if you have a bad wrist, some people have a problem doing that. Okay, yeah, that, that, uh, that seems okay. Yeah, but you know, enough you can see it. The less you have to move the gun, the quicker you're going to be back on target. That makes sense. So, it makes sense that that would be really hot during a match too. Oh man, guys, you'll see guys with tape, bandages, yeah. blisters. It's it's rough. Ugh. And then, well, once you get that first the nose started, just keep your hand flat, flat ah. your palm. There you go. Okay. And then with your thumb, instead of chasing the shell in, just keep it like this. Just keep your your thumb on the side of the. Ah, okay, gotcha. The, and that was actually not bad, but that's a common mistake a lot of people make is they'll chase that shell in with their thumb. Yeah. And then have to dig it out. Whereas the port is cut so that you can keep your your thumb just. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Well, that's gonna take some getting used to. Yep. All right. So in three gun, it's all about speed, and the slowest part of shooting, assuming you're hitting your targets, is loading. And so they they load four shells at one time. Shotguns are hard to load. Because... Yes, they are. Definitely the slowest reloads are on a shotgun. So. We load four shells at a time. Uh, we call it a quad load. We'll have shells arranged on our belt, similar to this. Grab them off, like that. I already messed mine up. <laughs> yeah, it should be about that fast. Yeah, just kind of with the tips of your fingers. Okay, yeah. yeah. That way when you go in with the first set, you can kind of keep the second set of shells out of the way 
so they don't hit anything on the gun. I did it. There you go. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Think about trying to get those, the tip of the first one. That's all right. Abort, abort. Yeah. I just lost the match. There you go. Okay. It's 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 a lot of a lot of it. It's just getting a feel for how far you have to bring that second row of shells up to to not interfere with anything on the gun here. Yeah. So what we're doing here, we have four of these little metal targets. And once you shoot them, they fall down and hit this lever right here, which launches this clay pigeon up into the air. So we'll have four shots on the metal targets and four shots on the clays, which will be up here, which is going to be tricky. So we'll see how that goes. That tree limb's gonna be gone by the end of the day. <laughs> Just time between the birds. So that was the correct way to do this. Now, now I'll do it. Okay. Didn't see that one. That one was a lot lower that time. Yeah. <laughs> and then go to four. Okay, Aaron. I want to see how fast you can take out all four of those and the the birds. I'm going to go ahead and top off. Fill her up for this one. So. Your reputation is on the line right here. Uh oh. Reputation? I don't even have one of those. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was pretty good. You guys won't see me do that today, but maybe after some practice later, a few months, maybe I'll do that. I just challenged Aaron. He has his two and two birds, and I have my two and two birds. Empty shotguns, so we have to load them. I'm probably going to lose this. Let me point this up so you might be able to see when we shoot those birdies. Okay. All right. On your call. Okay. Good. That's good. Ready, set, go. Oh, I missed my bird. He wins. Woo. <laughs> nice. You were a lot faster though. What if we're not going for accuracy, we're just going for speed? I want to challenge him to see if he's faster than this Ithaca, because if you'll remember a couple videos ago, it is a slam fire shotgun. So, can you hold that camera? I can. So every time I fire it, and then I pull it back, and when I pull that forward, it fires again. As long as you're holding down that trigger, it continues firing. So. I'm gonna see if he can run his Benelli faster than I can run my Ithaca. Not going for accuracy, just going for speed. We each have eight shells in our guns. He loaded one extra, and so what we're gonna do, he's gonna fire at one of those. It will shoot a clay pigeon up in the air. As soon as it hits the ground, then we both are gonna unload our eight shells as quickly as possible. That's right. We'll see who wins. Safety off. Safety. And uh, I'm just gonna, you're gonna shoot at that target? Yeah. I mean, you can shoot at too if you want. It yeah, I'll shoot it as well. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Ready. What happened? I outran the gun. <laughs> so these Benellis will only cycle so fast, and if you go faster, basically you drop, you the, drop hammer the hammer before drop the bolt is all the way before in. Before it closes, yeah. So jam me up. So basically, the Ithaca, Ithaca is better than Benelli. <laughs> That's what that means. Can I shoot that thing? Yeah, for sure. Load it up. Got a little rusty dust coming out of it. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're thinking about how you can tune this thing up. I'm already envisioning. You're like, how can I? How can I run this in the next match? <laughs> oh, you could dominate heavy with one of these, where you have to shoot a pump 12 gauge. Cut some some grooves out there. The new Demo Ranch three gun model. <laughs> the old school. Yeah. Nice. Oh, he chipped it. Nice. Killed it. In the Off the Ranch video, you guys saw me install these in my house. We put these as our gym floor. These are just horse stall mats. They're three quarter inch. They're really hard rubber. And I, I think about Demolition Ranch stuff all the time. But I didn't think of this idea. But everyone in the comments said, are those bulletproof? And I was like, 
This is genius. We have tons of scraps. Literally tons of scraps. And now we're going to see if they're bulletproof. We're going to shoot a uh, birdshot at them first. And I, you give me your, your opinion too, Aaron. I think birdshot will stop on one sheet. I think so too. Birdshot, th this is some really it's tough thick. stuff. It's Birdshot's going to have a hard time going through this. So I don't think birdshot is going to make it through one. And then we have double out buckshot. I don't know. We'll see how it goes through one. I've got some nine pellet. I don't. I think buckshot probably has the best chance of going through. And then we have slugs. One ounce slugs. Bird shot first. All right. That went through. I'll be darned. Nice solid hole. So you can see the wad was right here. Oh really? All so the it... shot was was still in the wad. Yeah. So that was basically a slug. We should probably back up like 10 more feet. Yeah, you're right. Do it again. So we shot it from so close that all the shot was still in the wad, all held together. So it busted through that first one, but then it broke apart. I mean, it busted through just like a slug. Yeah. But then it broke apart and didn't even scratch it's the second one. Probably bird shot in this mat actually. Just just because when it came through that hole. Yeah. And the wad uh, opened up. Yeah, there is some right there. Yeah. So okay, there's a scratch. Cool. So let's back up. We'll shoot with bird shot again and see if our results are different from like three times as far away. First one definitely went through, but not as well. Yeah. So we have a hole, but not nearly as good. But either way, bird shot can make it through. Yeah, it can. One. Now let's do some double out buck. That had to have gone through more oh, than yeah. just one. So we got some holes through the second. There's one. Let's see. There's Ooh. more. Oh. This is five, six. Uh, I think it might have stopped. Yeah. So, so through five and decent penetration on the six. Went That's through six. Pellets. Okay. Wow. Bird shot goes through one. Buck shot goes through six. Fioki slug. So one ounce. One ounce. Okay. Around 1150 feet per second. Okay, go ahead. Hit, hit. Yep. Four, five, six. Yeah. So went, one, two, so three, seven. Four. So one more than the huh. buck shot. Okay. Aaron is shooting his AR because that should make it through. We just wanted something to make it through all of these mats. AR bullets are going super fast and smaller and faster is better at penetration. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief. <laughs> Might be hard to even see I that hole. I say that. We may not even find this hole. Yeah. This is like some of that self-healing Yeah, I target. don't know. Yep. That might be impossible to see. Is that it? That's it. Wait, is that your bullet right there? I no, that's, that's one, one of those, those That's one of those pellets. buckshot pellets, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a hole way back here. Is there? Yeah, there's one right there. I don't so see any after that, It started though. tumbling a little bit, it looks like. No, it came through this one. Did it? Yep, it's got a hole in the back. That one's nicked right there. So it probably bounced off of that. Yep. Wow, so it really didn't go as far as I thought it would. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten? Ten. Huh. Well, Aaron. That's a pretty weedy ammo, I'm sure. Aaron, we need something to make it through all of these. This is the Barrett M107A1. And you've never shot a 50 BMG before. I have not. I've shot a 50 caliber revolver, but nothing like this. 50 caliber, like a... The Smith & Wesson 500. 500, yeah. Yeah, the 500 is actually way more painful than this gun is. Really? Yeah. Ready? Ready. <laughs> I saw it hit the dirt on the I'm other side. I'm pretty sure that went through. <laughs> look, look at the jacket. Look, wow. it went sideways. So it was tumbling. It was tumbling mm, bad. I smell the rubber burning. Yeah. Yeah, look at yeah. that. It's going through straight sideways. So there's the very last one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then it hit the dirt hard over skip. there. Yeah. Okay. So wow. if someone is going to be shooting at you, horse mats are an okay body armor, but if they're shooting a 50 BMG, get out of there. That is it for us. The Barrett topped off the, the video and killed all of our, our rubber. The Barrett's pretty amazing. So, Aaron. Yep. You have these, you make these. We do, yep. My what? shop specializes in competition guns. This is one of our specialties, Benelli shotguns, particularly the M2. So we offer a full race package to get it ready for three gun. As you see here, the extended magazines, open loading port, 
oversized controls. And I would assume you can probably do any kind of customization people want on we these We can, things. yeah, we can do, this is our logo, we laser on here, we can do custom logos, we can do uh, Cerakote, different colors. I mean, we the sky's really the limit almost whenever it comes to customizing these, so. And you also do pistols. We do competition grade pistols, yep. Single stacks, double stacks. Uh, we do work on Glocks, M&Ps, uh, general gunsmithing, general awesomeness. <laughs> so I am going to be doing a competition, uh, when is it, March? The weekend of April 1st. April, okay. So in April, I'm gonna be doing the exact same competition I did last year. Um, they change up the stages and everything, but it's in the same place. And I hope, my goal, last year my goal was just to not get disqualified. This year my goal is to finish in the top half of my, my group. I think I can do it. Guaranteed and, with a shotgun. And now I have a shotgun that I will actually know how to run because last year I was using someone else's. I was unfamiliar. Not anymore. That's right. So thanks Aaron for being here. Thanks for having me. Thank you guys for being here. And we will see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby! I'm a doctor. Ish.